Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Chef. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're at the end of the day. This is the last, the end of the day, the business day. And you can see, look at this. 25, 45, 77 was our final balance there. We are profitable by this much. That's fantastic. Now, we are going to end that day, of course, being down by $1,000 uh, or $1,000 in debt just because of our end of day expenses. But that's our flat line. That's where we start. And then we make money all day, right? Now, I've got some ideas, okay? Um, first off, some of you guys in the comments are really, I'm going to go with passionate, right? I'd ask that you have some sense of understanding. And I, I kind of brought this in as a disclaimer in the very first video. I do not cook, right? I'm just not someone who cooks in real life. There are certain things, right, that people are good at. Everyone has things that they are passionate about. Everyone has things that they are good at. It's things that they excel at, that they put their passion, their heart and soul into learning and becoming better at. Cooking and more or less how foods go together has never been one of my things, okay? I'm a pretty simple guy and growing up, we're very frugal. I didn't come from money. So things like going out to fancy restaurants and having all these different ingredients go together and how they go and how the, the palate and how your taste buds, none of that stuff, right? I don't, I don't have, um, I don't even have an informal education on how that stuff goes together. So, and I, I told you that in the very beginning. So if you are one of those people who are quote unquote frustrated at my stuff, I, you're going to have to get over it because it's not going to stop. Okay. It just isn't. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the game and more specifically, I'm here, make videos and on this channel. If you're new to this channel, I make videos that uh, for games that are really interesting to me, uh, but I'm not necessarily definitely not. Uh, here to show you how to play the game. Uh, far from it. I'm not here to show you expert strategies, right? Far from it. In fact, I think a lot of times people who watch this channel, and if you're one of those people, by all means, go to the comments and back me up on this. Uh, I think a lot of times the people who, who watch this channel regularly actually learn better how to play the game by my mistakes as well. They learn uh, what not to do in a lot of situations. And that's one of the most magical things about games, especially games like this, because I know the mechanics of the game. I know how everything works, but I don't know food, right? I'm looking at this ingredients panel, right? I see maple syrup. Okay, I got the comments, right? I see the maple syrup. I wish we could do breakfast in this game because like, I'm, I'm digging the whole idea of maybe getting some pancakes going. Uh, we can't, I don't know if we could really do that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could have pancakes in the middle of the day. Who knows? Pancakes in, at, you know, at three o'clock in the afternoon. Why not? But I see, I'm going to look at some of these ingredients, especially when we get to vegetables and spices, things like coriander. I have no idea what coriander is, right? I have heard of it, but I have no idea what the proper, or, or tarragon. I actually have never heard of this. I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of it in my entire life, right? And these are the kinds of things where I've already been upfront with you. I'm not gonna know these things, right? I, I didn't come from money. I didn't, I don't have that, that experience of going out to all sorts of different restaurants and experiencing all the foods in the world, right? It's just not something that my family was necessarily into. And, uh, you know, my mom did all, almost all the cooking in my family. And then in college, uh, I was fortunate enough to have a roommate that was really into cooking too. So when we did have a meal that was nice, when it wasn't just ramen, because, you know, we're college kids, when it wasn't just ramen, um, you know, it was something that was prepared by a, a roommate of mine, right? So like those types of things, there are some things that I'm very experienced in, some things that I know very well. Cooking is not one of those things. So I'm asking that you uh, try to keep that in mind, but also keep in mind that I am not, and I never will be, no matter what game it is. I'm, I'm, I make this promise to myself a long time ago, and I say it on Twitch all the time. I am not a person who is going to just look it up and try to figure out how it works by looking up a guide or watching some other player play the game to learn how it works before I play it. This is not the point of video games for me. It's not the point of it. I, there's a there's a magical element that comes from the trial and error process of learning how this stuff works and the relationship between that aha moment that comes immediately after a mistake right or of two mistakes or 10 mistakes right the point of it and this this monologue is almost over the point of this is what i'm trying to say is i love that you guys are into this uh, I, I'm super appreciative of your comments. It means a great deal to me that you're even interested in the video, let alone enjoying the series. So thank you very much for that. However, if you're going to get frustrated and you're going to vent at me, sometimes vulgarly, I have deleted a few of you. I'm sorry. I just, I just will. Um, it's, you're going to degrade the experience for me if you're going to be that way. 
Uh, so I ask that you not do it. Even if you're swearing at your computer screen, leave it in your room, not in my comments. Thanks. Okay. That being said, they found some hair in their plate, which is actually pretty gross. Uh, I'm going to ignore the issue, though. Um, I don't... You know, we're profitable now. I'll make him another one. That makes them happy. And they're vegetarians, so... Okay, they're not... At least they're not cheapskates, right? I want to see... And I think when those little things pop up, I think what's the best thing to do is to check them first, right? And if they're complaining and they're a cheapskate, then we just let them go. Because I don't really need to do anything with them, right? So yesterday was incredibly profitable, but yesterday was also an event day. There was something specific about that day that made it so much busier than it would normally be. So today would be a more accurate representation of how profitable we really are, I think. Um, now I have a really nice balanced menu, all right? I'm just gonna say this, I have a really nice balanced menu right now. We got five hats on almost everything, right? Uh, I've, added, I've added two white wines to the list because I had two ingredient points, so I spent them on better wine. So I have expanded my wine offerings as well, which is very nice. 15 and $16 for the wines respectively, which is kind of nice. Two desserts, one of them has dairy, one of them does not. Uh, I've got two side dishes. I would like to expand that, maybe have something a little bit more, but remember, we're targeting a very specific group of people here, right? Um, we take a look at, and this is the way the game works. This isn't how I would do it. I would have a variety, but the way the game works, it's kind of like you really want to cater to a very specific group of people. So the, you know, we're trying to cater to high budget tourists. They really like dessert and wine. We're also trying to cater to high budget families. That's seafood. So what I would love to do is have like a side dish that is fish based, right? Or, or how about an appetizer? Now here's the thing. I think if we could do fried fish, can we do fried fish? Um, I don't think I can do fried fish. No, I can't do fried fish yet. Um, actually, I can buy it. Let's do fried fish. So what I what I don't know though, here's the thing. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I can make fish sticks, like a like an appetizer for fish sticks, right? Um, which is kind of like fries. But the thing is, two things. One, I'm not sure if fish sticks are classy enough for the restaurant. They are seafood, though, so it would work. I mean, they could have seafood appetizers, right? Um, but the second thing is I have no idea what kind of fish is used in fish sticks. I have no idea. I just know them as fish. Uh, I've also had one more comment. I want to address that too. I, I really like the back and forth that we can have between us, as long as it's civil, um, and in and, and realizing that there are elements that I haven't necessarily pointed out in the game that I do know about very well already. Things like the bottom of the menu, for example. I'm aware that these things down here are giving me bonuses, and I have targeted those bonuses. Things for tourist high, right? I've targeted that. Food enthusiast gourmet, right? I've got food enthusiasts and again like right here a very attractive to the people like tourist high people that we want to attract to the restaurant right i need to get seafood offerings a little bit higher too um and that's what i'm trying to work on maybe having appetizers there's a salad that has seafood as well we could have a fish soup or maybe like a, some other types of soup would be nice i also think a lobster main course would be cool but i want to get at least a two-star lobster before i do that let me take a look at uh, that's gotta go this way. Let's see if lobster is here. I have two star lobster. Awesome. So um, I was thinking about doing something like that too, and I, and I might do that. I don't know if I'm gonna do it today because my head is fried after a very long day, but I, I might do that. The point is though, I have a very nice menu offering and it's not necessarily super low or uh, super high prices either. Um, we can maybe bump some of these up. If we bump up these prices enough, then it's possible that those guys will just go away, right? Like. It's possible that the, you know, the cheapos will just disappear. Um, we still have blonde beer, too. This really cheap blonde beer, and it's not that great. And the thing is, I can make the beer better. All I need to do is go to the ingredients panel, go all the way over to the beverages. And this blonde beer, I just need to make it two stars and offer a better beer. That's really all I need to do. But I'm not going to do that today. In fact, I'm just going to remove beer entirely from the menu because I don't really need to have, uh, the, like, the blue collar and stuff people come on in, so... Okay, so there's that, all right? We have a very well-rounded menu. In fact, the game is telling me that I do. If I take a look at right here, well-structured menu, there are at least two different recipes for each menu section, okay? That's it. 
at least two for each section. That's all you have to do. Now we can improve that further, of course, but um, like they have a small a small menu and poor offering. That's These are negatives. We don't want those. We want all the green ones, basically. And I like the idea of having dessert variety as well. Um, so if we look at this, we can see that um, the menu has an interesting offer of desserts. Right now, there's the pie. It's kind of like two pies. So if we wanted to make a new recipe for dessert, um, I kind of feel like maybe some ice cream, right? We don't really have, well, we have one pie and one ice cream at the moment, but I'm thinking if we were to do like, um, I don't know if I want this to be the artwork for it though. This is very fruity. I want something that's like really great, like dark chocolate looking, but they don't seem to have graphics for that. Like nothing, nothing dark chocolatey. Wow, that's that's unfortunate. Nothing chocolate. I guess it'll have to be like this. It's really not like there's no dark ice cream. Uh, I'm gonna go. I, I don't really know what I want to call this though. So I'm gonna go Char's, uh, Char's Choco Loco. <laughs> I don't know. Char's Choco Loco ice cream. There you go. And uh, of course, we're gonna want main ingredients here. Now, can we move these around? Because I see, I, I think there's a way to move these around uh, to have them structured in a certain way, how it uh, formats here. I saw a couple of screenshots when I was like browsing around on Steam. I kind of saw a couple of screenshots of people that had these moved in different orders. Maybe that's older versions of the game. I'm not sure. Uh, we're gonna start with milk. So grab some milk. Be nice to have maybe some better milk though. That would probably be better. Oh well. Um, and then we want vanilla as well. I don't think. Um, yeah, get rid of the cream. We want some. Ooh, white chocolate would be good. No, we want. You know what? Vanilla. This is chocolate. Damn it. <laughs> Char I'm looking at the picture and I'm like, it's vanilla. No, it's chocolate. And honestly, dark chocolate would have been better. If we could have could have done some dark chocolate, that would have been cool. Um, just some regular chocolate, some dark chocolate and uh, maybe a little bit of more milk, although that's degrading it a little bit. What do we have to have? Milk's at least in 50 grams, okay? So we'll go with 50, although I need to like, saturate it a little bit, dilute it a little bit. Um, use cream, okay, yeah, we need, we need cream. Uh, cream, 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 cream. Where did I put it? Who moved the cream? There's the cream. And uh, we need to have it a lot though, right? 50 grams, that's what it starts with, okay? Um, we're gonna come back and uh, add just a tiny bit of salt to it. It says it's really heavy right now, which I suppose I agree with that. Oh, you know what? Uh, I just added the sugar and I realized I don't even have cocoa unlocked. Like cocoa would be something to unlock, right? Like I can get rid of the chocolate because we had, you know, white chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever, but like we don't have cocoa and I feel like cocoa would be a thing to really have in here, right? Uh, so maybe maybe not. I was gonna also maybe pop a little bit of peanuts in, but uh, I don't think so either. Let's wait. Let's hold off on this because I don't have I, I don't have enough ingredients to make chocolate ice cream. I don't think. I think what I'd probably want to have for this is some cocoa. Yeah, the resulting ingredient, the, the fundamental ingredient of chocolate, exactly. So I don't I, if until I get that, I don't think I can do it really well. And then um, we might even throw some coffee in there or something. I don't know, like spice it up. I mean, it's not it's not how I would have ice cream, but I'm not really into coffee myself. But uh, it, I know like a lot of people like it, like it. So, including my wife, so Joseph. Uh, we have no points here. I has got two points. We can put that into let's say main courses for you. Very cool. And Emily's got some points. We can put that into main courses for you. Very cool. And everybody else, I think we'll just hold off. And you know what? Let's let's get you on delivery a little bit. And Elena, you can maybe take some money really quick. Okay. So we're gonna be profitable very quickly here, right? You can already see our money. It's very early in the day, and we're almost in positive territory here. Uh, well, okay, we're down 600 bucks, but for us, that's actually almost. That's actually an almost for me, because normally we're down, you know, over a thousand dollars. So that's nice. We have some ingredient points now, so why don't we go ahead and spend that? I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna get two star cocoa. Actually, let's get some chocolate going here. So I'm gonna add some cocoa to this recipe, and that's gonna make it a lot better too. We just have to be careful. Yeah, bitterness. Yeah, okay. We need to be a little bit careful there. Now. I've got quite a bit, like I don't want to make it too much sugar, but I do need enough. 
thing is, like, I'm not entirely sure how to get that bar to rise anymore, right? Because this is, unless I'm missing something really fundamental to ice cream, milk, cream, sugar, cocoa, number two. Um, I mean, I guess I can add regular chocolate, but that's just going to take it down. I already have dark chocolate. And perhaps that's the problem. Perhaps if I take away the chocolate, bring in regular chocolate and go two star. They do like, yeah, okay, we're going to do that instead of the dark chocolate, I guess. But um, we can make it really great this way. A lot of chocolate. <laughs> we already have cocoa for that, though. That's the thing. I don't want to go, I don't want to get carried away. But it's, ch well, it's Choco Loco. We're supposed to be carried away with chocolate. Maybe we do add some fruit. You know, that would balance out the flavor a little bit. Maybe we add, like, just a hint of orange. <laughs> that would really screw you guys up, wouldn't it? No, I think strawberries and chocolate are a really great combination, and we're going to do that. Um, and this is going to push it up to, it's like 94 at its peak. We also get this bonus, which is nice. Now, this bonus here, we don't want this one. So as long as we have a little bit of fruit, we're good. And 94 is not bad. It's It could be better, but I feel like we already have strawberries in the other one, don't we? Don't we already have strawberries in the other one? Um, like Date Night Delight. You have real, really light strawberries. Oh, honey was an interesting addition to the last one. Huh. Now that's not bad. Hold on. Dessert. Bring the Choco Loco in here and... Um... Uh, honey? I added honey to it. I was also thinking peanuts, but now that I've got the fruit in there, I kind of don't really want... I don't really want that. Um, so like mint, ooh, it's some mint with the chocolate. Hell yes. Oh, there's one thing I love. It's mint chocolate together. Yes, absolutely. Get that in here. Uh-huh, just enough strawberries to get that extra tick right here. But we're definitely bringing in the mint. We don't want the mint too strong, but we're definitely bringing in the mint. And it looks like a little bit of vanilla might in increase it as well, which is, I guess, okay. A little bit more flavor there, I guess. Now, is it getting too expensive, though? It's three ninety-seven for raw ingredients. That's pretty expensive, and it's probably because of the strawberries. If I remove the strawberries, I lose this, but it doesn't hit me too hard. And I, 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 that's a draw. That's a dollar right there. Like I just saved a dollar on my cost for every meal. I'm wondering if we just stick a few. Man, raspberries are even more expensive. Actually, you know, the orange was very cheap. Maybe a little bit. Honestly, I don't really want any fruit with mint chocolate. I don't I don't want fruit. I think I just want the mint. Um, vanilla can be really light too, as long as it's there. Uh, a little bit of salt. Actually, less salt, there you go. Uh, cream brings it down. We want the cream to be there, but we don't need it to be super strong. So let's bring it down to there. And then uh, actually 50 will be right on 50 is good. Uh, sugar, it's already too sugary. Bring that down a little bit, but we have to have at least 20 grams of sugar in the ice cream. So we'll go like this. I think if I don't add fruit, I don't get that. I don't get the top of this, right? I, adding fruit gets me over the mark unless I can find a suitable thing to add to this. And maybe it's just as simple as adding a little bit of butter. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, you guys love me, don't you? See, now I'm going to start trolling you. There's one thing that uh, I was talking about on Twitch earlier, and I, I was saying, you know, I'm going to do this one series where every time somebody tells me to do something, like whatever it is, even if it's completely opposite of what my plans are, I'm just going to do it just to troll them. <laughs> And it would be like, oh, you should add butter to that. Or somebody somebody could chime in and be like, dude, you should totally add lobster to that to that uh, ice cream. <laughs> be like, you're no, you know what? You're right. We should add lobster to ice cream. <laughs> no. No, we're not gonna do we're not gonna do that. Uh, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna try to hit this mark, and if I can get it to just get over the mark. I just can't get it. It was going 112, but not while the yeah, it's gonna ha it's gonna be a little less milk there, so I'm not gonna get. Fu oh wait, oh wait, what? So I have to use I have to use cream at 50 grams or more. But if I use 36 grams, I get that up there. Darn, that sucks. Maybe I use more cream. Uh, cream isn't that flavorful, I guess. 
50 grams of cream is all I get. All right. Well, I mean, this is our ice cream, and it seems like it's pretty good, I guess. Seems all right. There. We just used less sugar, which again, we can't because it requires sugar. 20 grams of sugar. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, there we go. So we get a 111. Uh, Charged Choco Loco is a 111. That's not too shabby. And I think what will probably fix this is we'll get a couple of, you know, in our ingredients, and I'm going to get better quality sugar. Possibly better quality vanilla or milk. And milk being a, a primary ingredient, I think it'll matter more. And then that will tip it up. We don't get this. And, like, I don't know. Like, chocolate and mint is great. I feel like adding a fruit to it just doesn't work. Even if it's really small. Like, if I go, well, you can't go really small. You have to have at least... 100 grams of fruit to get that. I don't think that's the point of this. I don't think I would want strawberries with my mint chocolate. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna leave, we're gonna leave it there. Four stars, uh, well, four and a half is is fine with me. Okay. Now the cost of this is 217 for our ingredients. We're gonna make this cost. Uh, let's go 10. And you know what? This one here can be nine, and this one here can be 10 as well. Okay, good. So hopefully we'll make uh, a little bit of money with that new dessert. Oh, I have, I think we can make, we, we talked about this in the, in the chat too, and I'm open to trying it, but I don't know if I can. Like sandwich as a template just doesn't feel right to me, but it might be the only thing I can do because I don't see any other template that would work for this. Um, we were talking, uh, we were talking about garlic bread, right? That was, uh, that was something in the comments. And I was like, yeah, we, I would want, I would love to have garlic bread as a side dish offering for, you know, like my, uh, like my pastas and stuff. Right. But it doesn't look like there's a, just a bread template. Um, so we'll have to start with sandwich, which requires bread. So maybe that will be okay, but we can use this as I think a, I wanted to use it as a side dish, but it looks like it will only allow me to do it as an appetizer. So I guess we'll do an appetizer garlic bread, which is kind of weird, but, um, I'm just going to call it garlic bread for now. Garlic. Wow. I can spell. I swear. garlic bread okay something something that's gonna be fairly easy to do i think i don't know um we need bread and bread is located i don't remember where it's located it's in here somewhere oh it's in carbs of course um so bread here we need at least 100 grams of bread so we're gonna go in right like that 100 grams of just bread and of course garlic bread is gonna need the main ingredient, of course, being garlic with the bread. So there is garlic bread. Um, but we're probably going to need to add a little bit more for the flavoring and stuff. So I'm thinking we could probably do with maybe a little bit of, I want to say some onion would work. Yeah. Um, just, a, just a little bit, though. I don't need like a whole lot of freaking onions. Um, so we can go about like this. And then, um, you know, I'm starting to think like I don't have enough ingredients for this stuff. Because this is the kind of stuff where um, I don't think I have enough ingredients for this. Using olive oil instead of butter would be probably better here. Um, and then a little bit of salt. We're going to need a little bit of that too. But I, I want extra. I want more ingredients. We need more more flavors and stuff, right? So I think we'll we'll put a pin in this one. Um, we'll, we'll put a pin in this and we'll come back to it. I think uh, once I get maybe some, I don't know. I don't know. Let me just let me get some ingredient points and we'll take a look and see what we need. I, I think probably what we what we should look at are, are spices, right? Little things that add flavor, but it's really, really light. Something like um, I think time would be OK with this. And um, I have rosemary. This is good with potatoes. I, I think I, I think I know what rosemary is. I don't know a whole lot, but I think I know what rosemary is. And I think rosemary might actually work here. Um, if I click on bread, it should, yeah, highlights rosemary specifically. So I'm going to add that. And that actually gives quite a big bump adding rosemary. Um, uh, but unfortunately it's, it's, it's erroring out on me again, where it like hides the ingredient I just added. Um, quite unfortunate indeed. Uh, so I'm going to have to maybe go to a different recipe to edit. Uh, I hit add new, go back to the menu and find, uh, garlic bread as our appetizer. Let's get this back in ingredients panel. Uh, we can actually use better quality olive oil too, and then the rosemary. There it goes. Okay, we can actually see it now. 
Now we don't want a whole lot of rosemary, just a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking maybe uh, we could just just hit, just a touch, like like one gram is fine. Um, black pepper on garlic bread, yeah, maybe just a let me just a little bit. But I feel like we need something else. I think thyme would be, probably be a good thing here. And then maybe something else that's... Time would be good, and I don't know what else, though. I'm going to have to just take a look at ingredients once we get some ingredient points. We are very positive in money right now, too. Look at this. Isn't that nice? We do have one point. Let's 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 get some time. Let's see what that does. And then, I don't know. What, what else? Maybe... I have no idea what this is. Um, I recognize sage. Flavoring many foods. Mediterranean region, fresh and dry. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll get some sage for it as well. Um, and let's get the garlic bread, though. Uh, so thyme is going to get added to this as well. And that's going to be really nice for us. Um, we have all sorts of tags for this, too. Look at this. Look at how many... Look at our garlic bread. It's, it's all over the place. There's, everything's in this. It's great. Um, but we're going to probably just do one gram in this. I don't think we need any more. Although, if it does increase the rating, it doesn't. It decreases it. Okay, we'll leave that alone. Um, is olive oil better than butter, though? Like we we butter our bread, right? Okay, let's let's see what this does. Olive oil. If we raise it up, it actually goes to ninety three, which is pretty cool. If I remove this and bring butter instead, um, it kind of it it's in, it depends. It's a real fine balance, but it kind of works better. Um, what about margarine? It's a pretty powerful mixture, actually. So the the one star margarine and butter is more powerful than the olive oil. But because I have staged, because I have two star olive oil, it does have a bigger impact. Also, this is removing the uh, no. This this keeps vegan. The butter removes the vegan. Uh, Seventy seven cents for this, uh, compared to if I was to bring back the olive oil it would be 65 cents. So this is cheaper as well. So it's more effective and cheaper. These are things I like to hear. Good. All good things. 97. We're going to keep it at 97. So currently we have 97 level garlic bread. Huh? What do you think? This is pretty good, right? Uh, 97. Yeah, good. Onions. I think maybe we just take it really easy on the onions, yeah? Um, black pepper... I just crank it up, I guess. I'm looking for... I can't bring the bread down anymore. Okay, we'll just leave it at 100. So yeah, 97 garlic bread so far. Not too shabby. Uh, we could we could introduce it to the menu at 97. I'm okay with that. So we'll pop it in there. That's the second... That's another appetizer. The garlic bread costs 90 cents to make. And we will start it out at $6. Not 60. 6 We'll start it off at six dollars and see what people like about it because it's a decent that's a decent side dish or sorry appetizer i would prefer it as a side dish or something that complements pasta but it's i don't it doesn't look like i can do that so we do have an influence point as well so we should head to the city map and i think i'm gonna there's a few food enthusiasts here low lower class families or I save the point and really hit this one hard. And I think so, because I want more food enthusiasts. The thing about food enthusiasts is they'll eat anything as long as it's really good quality, right? And that's what our menu is. It's full of just really high quality things. And um, like I, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, let's pop that up to eight. We're like, I'm like adjusting the prices as we go. Go up to 11 now on these. We have another, yeah. So I'm gonna wait to spend the influence point. I think when we get to maybe 300, Maybe when we get to 300 popularity, it gives us another point. Possibly, I don't know. But this is more indicative of our typical revenue right now, right? Our typical, uh, our margins and our profit right now, because this is not a special day. We have people waiting around the kitchen, but energy-wise, morale-wise, it actually seems pretty good. I don't see any problems with this. Uh, the one thing we could do, because we're so profitable, the one thing we might want to think about doing is taking a look at doing some outreach, some spending, specifically trying to get the attention of these guys 
or trying to get the attention of food enthusiasts. So if we try to do customer, attract customers, right? The food enthusiasts are more likely to come to us now, which is kind of nice. And if I was to go to, let's say vlogs, no, billboards, which ones is it? That can attract the high, high budget families. This is it, this is it. Oh, I can only do one of these at a time. Um, let's do food enthusiasts. Yeah, we're good. So that's, it only raises my daily policy just a little bit, but hopefully the people that this brings in will, I'm really hoping that that offsets the extra $144 or whatever. And then we could also take a look at maybe the cleaning stuff just in case. Um, I don't know if we really need to go any higher than this right now. Ooh, we also have furniture. Idolin Designs. Is that how you say it? is happy to sign a contract with you, allowing your restaurant to feature some of their incredible furniture from around the world. Okay, let's check out the furniture then. So incredible furniture from around the world, you say. This must be all about the lobby, right? I'm not seeing anything different. Okay, so there's a few rugs. Ooh, wow. Nifty rug, very elegant. Very elegant. I'm thinking I want to go actually more modern though. I want to like have a bit more modern in the in the store. This is plus three to modern. We could put this over here. Kind of a weird spot for it because it's like near these tables and stuff. Um, is this is this over top the table? I wouldn't really want carpet over top that anyway, in case people spill it. No, we should look at different options for making more modern stuff. Um, oh, look at this. Decorative table. This is impressive. You know what? This five, the five elegance that this gives me for the space it takes up, I could go like that for the elegance, and then we could swap out the rug. Let's we'll swap this rug out instead, and then do the modern rug. Yeah, plus three to modern. Anything else? This one's plus three to modern too. I like this design better, I think. Uh, yeah, we probably want to put it like this. Yeah, so we'll add a little bit more modern to the place there too, right? So we currently have five modern. Did we have five modern before? Wait, was the rug I just removed also five modern? I guess I thought it was an elegance rug. I didn't check it. Whoa, there's a beer kegger there. Barrel with a table. <laughs> Ooh, televisions and stuff. A uh, harpsichord. Okay, we're getting really, we're getting fancy now. This is more rustic. Elegance. Uh, four to rustic, no thanks. Plus four to modern, this is cool. Um, maybe we take, no, I think we will. We'll put this right here for now. That adds a bit more modern touch to it. Uh, but now we're not getting upper class families anymore. Now, why is that? We've added more elegance, but we've also added more modern. I'm actually kind of convinced that the negative, like let's test this. Cause again, like I've had differing opinions in the, in the comments and this is, this happens a lot. Believe me, <laughs> where people who are very sure of how something works will tell me how it works. But there are other people who are also very sure about how it works and they're telling me something different this the, the frown face i thought it gives you a penalty but i was told it has no effect i added more modern these guys aren't coming anymore let me see what happens if i remove this modern and we remove this modern okay they're still not coming now why aren't they coming anymore interesting okay um well again i don't know i don't i don't i think somebody might be right. I know somebody is right, okay? <laughs> I just don't know who it is. Uh, where'd it go? The modern one. Where'd that modern one go? Ooh, this is plus two. Oh, it's like a... Oh, okay. Okay, hang on. We'll put this up here, like right here. That's cool. But um, the other one is in this, it's in this run right here, right like this. Plus four to modern. We're gonna put that right there. Okay, good. Uh, we're go this is flying speed right now. Let's slow this down. But see, now we're actually spending money we have instead of going into debt more. That feels good. But the high-class families aren't coming anymore, and I don't know why. 
they won't come and it doesn't exactly tell me why i don't think um right here restaurant because your ambience rating is too low very weird i have an idea though because we have we're, again we're making good money let's um let's make sure our hall is cleaner that's expensive another ten dollars an hour wow we can raise it up by having a cleaner dining room and that will do it okay good general ambience wasn't high enough very strange okay uh you know the kitchen's looking pretty good i think also we could add a dishwasher because that's a fixed cost that also just has a flat rate bump so it's a fixed cost that bumps it up every day, just like that policy does. Um, except that policy is every hour, so it's a it's not a fixed cost. So why don't I look at getting the kitchen set up, and we can look at getting a dishwasher, which goes plus ten to oh, there's a maintenance cost, thirty five dollars. Okay, it's not fixed. Of course, there's a maintenance cost, but it still raises it up. And um, I'm thinking okay on this. I'm thinking dishwasher, and we can put it like. I guess right here for now, like right next to the fridge. Why not? That's a great place for it, right? Nobody's annoyed by that placement. No, nobody's annoyed by this. Nobody will say anything about how that doesn't line up with the wall and it's sticking out and nobody will care. You watch. <laughs> oh, fine. We'll move it. I, I'm, this is a, this is a, this is a dream. All right. It just, it's, I'm just dreaming that, that that nobody will care. Fine, prep table, all this stuff is here. Dishes come up and you pop them right in the dishwasher. How's that sound? Does that sound better to you? You know, Josepha is really stressed out. Wonder why that is. Like, is it really that busy? Do I really, do I need more? So, more waiters? I, it's possible I do. He has two points. I could, I could wait for the third and get fitness. James has two points. Let's get you better on main course. Ning has two points. Let's get you better on main course. Ning, you monster. Uh, Paul, Emily, yada, yada, yada. We'll just get you some basic stuff so that you're doing it faster. Uh, let's get you... I'm going to save your point, actually. Avi, we'll get you... No, uncleaning. There we go. Getting other tables ready to go by cleaning them off. Save your point, Josepha. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait for your fitness point. Cora, nothing. Beatrice, we'll wait on you. Santiago, we'll wait on you. And I have three points. I'm thinking, with my three points, I need to think about maybe getting steamed fish. Will steamed fish... I mean, steamed fish will taste... I think it's gonna take like really good flavoring, right? Keeping it wet and juicy. Wet and juicy meat. Let's get two points in steamed fish. And uh, we'll get another point maybe in cookies. Oh, I moved, hang on. Okay, do this and then go to like this. Steamed fish. Now in order to get steamed fish on the menu, we need to have a steamer. Like equipment wise, we have to have a steamer. And I think this one is has 10 slots, 30 maintenance. This one has 12 slots, 12 maintenance. Um, I fail to see why I would ever do this one. This is less than half the maintenance and it has more slots. Does it take longer to prepare? I'm I'm really kind of lost on that. Uh, we'll put the steamer over here, I guess. Put a really small kitchen. Okay, so there's a steamer in this kitchen now. Okay, which means we can do steamed stuff in our menu. Okay, so if we wanted to do another recipe, right? We could look at possibly doing. We could do cookies too, but I'm looking at steamed fish. Okay. Steamed. Mmm, delicious steamed fish. Yes. How about a steamed... I actually like trout, like trout grilled. Um, we can try it steamed. I don't know if that's going to work because it's trout, but I mean, maybe it doesn't matter. Um, I, I know that the, I know that the trout I've normally had is, is grilled, but, um, we're going to say lemon, pepper, trout. 
This is gonna be a letter, letter uh, lemon pepper trout. Okay, it's obviously a main course. And uh, actually, let's take a look at this really quick. It says there's no bonuses. Because I guess I don't have any bonus for, for lemon pepper trout. Yeah. Okay, so complex aroma. Ooh. More spices. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so we're going to do trout. Where is it? Did I not unlock trout yet? Hang on. Excuse me? I didn't unlock trout. Get, give me a two-star trout. Go back to the recipe editor. Hello, trout. There we go. Two-star trout that, please. Okay. Uh, for lemon pepper, we, of course, want lemon. We, all of course, want pepper, black pepper specifically. Amazing. Awesome. Good stuff. Uh, let's add a little bit of oregano, I guess. Why not? We want really good pepper as well. Very good. Very good. Um, what else can we do? Maybe a little bit less on the lemon, right? We don't want to do too much lemon. Just enough to add the flavor, but not overpower it. So maybe like that. Um, I think same thing with the pepper. Maybe just bring it down a tad. And um, I guess it doesn't really matter on the oregano as far as like how much we use. Yeah, we'll just do that. Um, I'm thinking maybe we add to the trout um, a little bit of salt. We're not going to cook it in olive oil too, right? No. We're, yeah, we're... Well, this is steamed, but we can still, like, coat it down a little bit. So maybe we'll just... Yeah, like that. Uh, and add a little bit of salt as well. Mm, we actually don't want salt. Forget it. No salt. Ah, uh, is that it then? And a little bit of chocolate. <laughs> no! Why is he doing this to me? Oh, my God! <laughs> uh, this looks good. Lemon pepper trout. Steamed fish? We just need 100 grams of the fish, so we need to bring that up to 100 grams. All right, not as good then. We're still a little bit short. So we can bring the lemon up, though, because we have more fish, so we have more lemon now. Excellent. Um, same thing with the... No, black pepper is actually perfectly balanced the way it was. No, like, I kind of I have an idea of what works with it, but I don't know the quantities that work with it, right? I'm not sure the, the olive oil is the best here. Definitely not butter, but if we go five grams of it, then it's really nice. Like that's that's gonna get us the mark, but it's two dollars and four cents. Bro, the olive oil is I think cheaper than margarine, isn't it? Yeah, two dollars and one cent, and we got a one nineteen lemon pepper trout. That's delicious. Save. Excellent. Bring it in lemon pepper trout for our main course where is it all the way here bam we got some main courses and this one is has a little bit of fruit because of the lemon this is also healthy and some spice very good and it's two dollars and one cent the other fish we have the salmon is 17 dollars. i think the lemon pepper trout we're going to start this at 16 and see what they do very good steamed fish guys and then we could actually do a side dish where it's steamed vegetables too if we if we can maybe even appetizer where it's just like steamed vegetables right can we do that though did i unlock that um it's not here it's in here it's vegetables and steamed sauteed veggies steamed veggies i did not unlock that yet but we can we can do it later okay good hey you know what that's a pretty good that's pretty good you know I, I can dig it, and I think this is a great place to end this video, right? It's one, it's like one business day per video kind of thing, right? But we're doing pretty well. We're gonna get another influence point. We're at 298 popularity. Come on, let's get the 300 before we leave. Come on, 299, 300. There's the influence point. Let's go back to the city map, and we'll get a few more of these food enthusiasts. To oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Why? Amount of influence points needed to increase your influence in the district. Wait, I have two points. I can't do it. Why? I could do a small town. Oh, you know what it might be? I wonder if the influence you have in a district that's like between, like see how I have to skip over this one to get to this one? I wonder if it's because the influence I have in this district cannot exceed the influence I have in this district. 
because it's like on the way. Because notice how it's at 40% and so is this one. So it'll let me do this one, but not this one. You can't have more influence in this district than the one adjacent to it if it's be like, you know, between it. That's interesting. I mean, I, I'm okay with that. We can pop this up twice and then, and then we'll be done with it. And then I'll be able to do this, I think, next time. But okay. Well, you know what? That's... That's a good, that's a good day, all right? And we have, I actually have so, uh, quite a bit of money. And with this money and with this profitability and the fact that we have policies in place for cleaning things now, doing really well, we're using social media to draw in more food enthusiasts, which is pretty good. We could look at getting blogs on board with us. It's only $12 an hour, which is pretty good. I'm gonna do that too, why not? And um, I think we can probably start thinking about maybe even doing outreach, which is like $1,000 a day, but we get daily influence points, which means we can just rapidly expand influence, right? But here's the thing, okay? We don't really have a whole lot in terms of uh, space for any more influence. Like I feel like once we get to maybe double the influence we have now, this place is gonna be packed even in the off hours. Possibly not. I don't know. But one thing's for certain, you can actually do pretty well with having a small, quote unquote, small kitchen, right? You can do pretty well with it. So anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you weren't like taken aback by my rant earlier. Um, but if you know, sometimes I have something on my mind, I want to say it. And uh, yeah, I hope that's hope that finds you well. Anyway, my name is Charlie. Thank you for watching. I'm grabbing Sage. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>